so today we are going to discuss about the pn junction diode voltage current characteristics okay the below one shows the circuit for the forward bias and reverse bias okay so here we are going to observe the voltage current characteristics of forward bias as well as reverse bias okay now for that the components required are the breadboard breadboard and there is 1 kilo ohm resistance pn junction diode rps voltmeter milliammeter as well as micrometer these are the components required right now we are doing the forward bias so that's why our requirement is milliammeter okay now sir i am giving this connection this circuit connection now here first we need to connect the 1 kilo ohm resistance anywhere on the breadboard Okay, thereafter, one kilom second end is connected to the PN junction diode anode. Now, how to identify the anode and cathode for the PN junction diode? So here, this silver color indicates the cathode. Silver color indicates the cathode, and this one indicates the anode. Okay, now this anode connected to one kilo ohm resistance second end. Second end, vertically on the same place. Thereafter, second end you can place anywhere on this. That means cathode terminal place anywhere on this breadboard. Okay. Now one kilometer distance. Thereafter, anode terminal is connected. Cathode terminal is connected somewhere. Okay. Now if you observe the circuit from cathode to ammeter pass to. Now this is my ammeter pass to. Ammeter pass to to the cathode is connected. Ammeter needle we can place anywhere on the breadboard. Okay. Thereafter, if you observe the circuit. RPS positive. RPS positive is connected to the one kilo ohm first end. Now this is my RPS positive. This is connected to the one kilo ohm first end, vertically on the same place. So one kilo ohm first end, vertically on the same place. Okay. Thereafter, we need to connect the RPS negative to the ammeter negative or ground ammeter negative. Okay. Where is ammeter negative? So here, this is my ammeter negative, vertically on the same place. Either you can connect vertical on the same place, otherwise you can connect ground. No problem. Both are same. <coughs> okay. Now we need to connect the voltmeter. Okay. Now here, voltmeter is in parallel with this PN junction diode. Okay. Now positive is connected to the anode, negative is connected to the cathode. Now here, this is my positive of my voltmeter connected to the anode vertically on the same line. Anode. Okay. Thereafter, this is my negative of my voltmeter. This is connected to the cathode. Vertically on the same node. Vertically on the same node. Okay. Now this forward bias connection is completed. Now we need to apply the supply voltage. Thereafter we need to verify the voltage and current. Okay. Now for that I am going to switch on the supply. <coughs> now by varying the supply voltage, we need to know the V2 voltmeter reading as well as ammeter reading. Now sir, I am varying the voltage. When it is 0.1. There is no moment of charge carriers, so that is the reason why the current is zero. Similarly, if you increase to the point two, point three, also it is zero. Why? Because the barrier potential is greater than this voltage across the diode, so that's why the current is zero. Okay. Now here again I am increasing point four. Again it is zero. Again point five. When I am increasing to point five, the current starts increasing. Okay. That means the barrier potential is lesser than this. Voltage, so that is the reason why the current starts increasing. Now, sir, again I am increasing the my supply voltage as well as this voltage across the diode. The current is increasing. See here how it is increasing. See here. See here. There is a sudden increase in the current at point six. It is increasing from some point five, point four to directly four point four. Sudden increase in the current. Okay. Now, sir, that is what we need to observe. When you increase the Voltage across the diode, the current is increased up to 30.5. This is what voltage versus current. Voltage, current, characteristics of your forward bias PN junction diode. Okay. Now we need to get the reverse bias. For that, I am decreasing the total supply voltage as well as I am going to switch off the supply. Thereafter, I need to connect the reverse bias connection. Okay. <clears throat> I am removing all these connections. Okay, for uh, reverse bias connection, our requirement is micrometer. Why? Because in the case of reverse bias, the current induced is due to the 
minority charge carriers so that's why we are going to use the micrometer instead of milliameter whereas in the case of our base we are using the milliameter why because the current duty is this due to the majority charge carriers see here now for this reverse bias i am using this micrometer okay now sir here these two are the same connection there is no change in these two connections resistance as well as the diode position is same position okay now only the negative here rps negative is connected to the anode whereas previously rps positive is connected to the anode whereas here rps negative is connected to the anode okay now sir this is my rps uh, negative sir this is my rps negative now rps negative is connected to the resistor first time one kilo first time it is connected thereafter if you observe here cathode terminal is connected to the ammeter positive now this is my ammeter positive this is my ammeter positive it is connected to the cathode connected to the cathode thereafter thereafter negative you can place anywhere on the breadboard negative anywhere on the breadboard okay thereafter if you observe here rps positive is connected to the ground or ammeter negative now see here where is ammeter negative here this is my ammeter negative okay vertically on the same line okay now again we need to increase the supply voltage okay now see rps positive is connected to the ammeter negative okay now i'm going to switch on the supply by varying this supply voltage i am going to verify this voltage as well as current through the diode for that i am going to switch on the supply and now i am going to connect the voltmeter in parallel with the diode now see here for that see here one more connection is there that is voltmeter in parallel with the diode now see here for that i am connecting voltmeter positive to the anode and voltmeter negative to the cathode okay now the total connection is completed for the reverse bias okay now i'm going to switch on the supply now by varying this supply voltage we need to note down this voltmeter reading as well as ammeter reading now sir i am varying the voltage here when you are applying 3.1 it is getting 3.1 something 4 4.4 5 same value you are going to get 5 for 6 also you are going to get 6 7 so also you are going to get 7 same values you are going to get 9.5 9.5 if it is 10 you are going to get 10 okay same values you are going to get in the case of reverse bias here the current is in terms of microamps we need to measure okay by varying the supply voltage we need to note down this voltmeter reading as well as ammeter reading in terms of microamp this is point you need to very very important point you need to remember okay in the case of your bias we are going to use the micrometer in the case of our bias we are going to use the milliameter okay this is about your reverse bias connection as well as forward bias connection thank you